Guys, we're excited about the opportunity. We've got a tough challenge against uh, Rice. They're a good football team. They're like one of the conference champions last year. They're, uh, I don't know, spectacular any place, but they're really solid offense, defense, special teams. And, and certainly where we are, they're going to be a tremendous challenge. And the thing we've got to do is uh, not so much Rice, but uh, UTSA. We've got to work on UTSA, and that's what we're really working hard to do. Get, a, get our ship right. Well, the open date was uh, good for us. Two things, I think, heal up physically, but also we've got to heal up psychologically. You know, that's a, yeah. that's the thing that's been, uh, been tough right now for us. And uh, we've got some guys that are nicked up, and that, uh, I like the open date was a good good time for us. We practiced. We went against each other quite a bit. And uh, not a, not a uh, you know, a blood and guts type thing, but really a competitive thing to help each other get better. That's the thing that sometimes you struggle with is you go against scouts, and your scouts are a pretty big drop-off from what you see on Excuse me on Saturdays, and that's what we're trying to uh, trying to compete. <laughs> I will just tell you the uh, some of the so-called uh, mentors and experts says don't uh, uh, don't take this job because you can't win the games. You just get your get your backside beat in, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, maybe we uh, overachieved some to start out. I think uh, I was pleased where we are this year. Uh, no, but I think again maybe it's a reality check for us. Maybe where we're, we're actually we're supposed to be actually in reality, but we're disappointed with uh, you know the situation where we are now from the wins and losses. But yeah, probably uh, in reality maybe I would have taken it, but uh, you look back at it, it's not a bad, not a bad deal, not a bad deal, <laughs> <laughs> not a bad deal at all. You know what? I think this is a good time for him from the standpoint of uh, he's had really good practice uh, this uh, last week and and this week and uh, Tucker, uh, you know this has been a, a Disappointed for him because this kind of year he's kind of uh, been uh, he, he was patient behind Sosa and then now it's his time and of course he's been in and out and uh, of course I tell you that's been a you know uh, he's going to be there if he can I put it that way and, and what I've seen he'll definitely be there on, on Saturday. Who's got a are you is that going to be a game time decision on who you'll start or who you lean towards? Is he going to be back to starting? Or? No, Tucker will start if he's, start. <laughs> if he's cleared to play. That's the thing. Uh, we'll see where we are from a standpoint. If we can win some games and he can help us win games, I think uh, definitely. But I, I think for, for Blake, I think Blake is, a, is, a, is an outstanding prospect. I think again, probably the wise thing to do would be to, and I haven't talked to him about it. I probably shouldn't say anything to you, but I hadn't <laughs> talked to him about it from a standpoint of uh, maybe uh, trying to hold him out, get a hardship for him, hardship. Which, which I think we can do that. He still has his cast on his right hand, and uh, unless. Uh, uh, he's gone to a left, being a left-handed passer. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a factor. Okay. And uh, but I think he's very smart, and I think he's going to be an outstanding prospect for us. But uh, hadn't, that decision has not been made yet, but that's certainly a possibility. Well, again, don't tell me that because that's another thing that bothers me because our people here have been so good, mm -hmm. so good about supporting our players and our program and everything. And, and uh, you know, from a coach's standpoint, I just want to do more. I just want to do more. And, uh, and, uh, and I think the thing that, uh, you know, uh, College football fans aren't the most patient people in the world, but hey, you know, these, these, these fans have been terrific. They've been terrific. Yeah. President Romo has been great, and uh, he, uh, and so I just can't say enough about what we've got going in. We, we lose a lot of seniors this year, you know, and I think we have, I think, about uh, eight or nine gray shirts that will be in that come in at midterm, and we've, we've, uh, we've, we'll, we'll sign in. And, and I think that is a, uh, it is, uh, it is different now, and you can get some of these kids in. And, and uh, again, the thing we've got to do is just make good evaluation, good choices. I mean, we're not we're not in a panic here, man. Stretch the bad. I hope we go out and take some guys. <laughs> you know, you know when we uh, started this, uh, you had a lot of like, that guy over there, not just way guys are really good football players. I'll take both those guys in Miami. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys like that are there. We just got to evaluate well and get guys uh, that uh, you know want to be a, a part of it. And and uh, but you're right, it has changed. It really has changed.